biology in itself is an incredibly fascinating field. But when you discuss sort of like the public impact of biology, you can immediately get to a realization that everyone knows somebody that suffered from cancer. My name is Gilbert. I come from Beirut, Lebanon. I came to Dartmouth. I've been here for almost seven years now, and I really enjoy it. The question that really drew me in is what fuels cancer growth? What makes a cancer a cancer? And how can we harvest that information to try to defeat it? And, uh, you know, in learning about cancer in my undergraduate years and then in my uh, master's at the American University of Beirut, I was immediately drawn into this question, into sort of like discovering more about cancer, trying to harvest that information and translate it into new cures um, into patients to try to, as much as possible, improve patients' lives. So halfway through my master's, uh, I asked my advisor where should I apply, and they mentioned a number of universities. I applied to um, Dartmouth, but so I was drawn to, to come to an area that had a lot of snow, which is something that I was interested in, in living. And it's been fruitful. I mean, Dartmouth is also an Ivy League, so why not come to one of the best universities to do your PhD? What I've found, at least at Dartmouth, is the system is designed, or the education system is designed to nurture your, your thinking, so your critical thinking and your ability to solve problems, such that when you graduate, I suppose you can, you can do what you want because you can, you can fit in different kinds of environments and be able to thrive, I'd say. My name is Faith. I am from a small town called Eldoret in Kenya and I am 22 years old. I am a junior at Dartmouth College. I have been studying mathematics. I feel like, let's say for my family, they know that the type of thinking that is encouraged in liberal arts colleges and in the U.S. in general is a lot more open and you can ask questions about many things. And I feel like most parents worry about their children who come here that they will forget what they were taught when they were younger or just completely change how they perceive things. But in my opinion, I feel like we learn how to do it. We learn how to think about things the right way and not necessarily, I don't know, get lost. I would say the things that change me the most are my interactions with people. Just, you know, coming, coming to America here, I mean, I, I came from a diverse place and I met a lot of different people, but here you even need more diversity. And so I think the ability to, to tolerate people from other backgrounds, to tolerate people that have different cultures and bring them together and sort of like say, oh, we're all great together is something that I took from my um, education here at, at Dartmouth, especially in interacting with international students. Um, living in a different country definitely opens up different perspectives. So I came here with the open realization that I met people from different races, different backgrounds. And...